Uh, well, we, we as Nazar have decided to position ourselves as the leading healthcare company uh, in Saudi Arabia for a variety of reasons, amongst them that the healthcare sector in Saudi Arabia is probably one of the most promising sectors in the economy. There is a significant uh, gap in terms of the, on the supply side, both in terms of inpatient and outpatient services and across the entire of, uh, spectrum of healthcare uh, services that are either provided by the government or by the uh, private sector. So we believe that there is a significant investment that is going to flow into the healthcare sector over the next few years. And we want to be right in the middle of all of that. Uh, we have been involved in the health sector for over 25 years. We understand the regulators, the thinking and the strategy that the country must follow. Um, if you look at some of the international indicators, whether it's the number of beds per 10,000 patients and so forth, uh, we are way below the standards. And the government has embarked on significantly increasing the investment in the infrastructure of the healthcare sector, and it will take a few years for those facilities and hospitals to be built and, and completed and then operated. However, there are many strategic challenges that face the government, and one of those is really uh, a decision by the government as to what extent Saudi Arabia wants to be, as a government, wants to be the ultimate provider of healthcare services versus opening the door for a larger participation by the private sector. Today, the ministry roughly offers 60% uh, of, uh, of the services. The other non-Ministry of Health government sectors like Defense and Interior uh, offer 20%, and then the private sector uh, offers the remaining 20%. We believe that at the pace the country is growing and the pace that the services are required, there is no way for the government to be ultimately the operator and provider of these healthcare services. And at some point, and we believe it should be sooner rather than later, the government should move very quickly towards being a regulator rather than the operator and allow the private sector to both purchase the assets of the government and become the real operator and provider of those healthcare uh, services within very strict guidelines uh, of medically related outcomes uh, rather than financial uh, outcomes. Uh, and those strategic decisions have to be made, I think, uh, to have a very clear direction for policy making and for uh, the uh, private sector to start planning on it because it's not going to be an easy road, but it's something that we believe must happen fairly quickly.